Hi Sagittarius, so today I'm going to be doing you guys this general love readings. These are general, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But I've been getting a channeled song. It's like somebody feels like loving you is the greatest sin. Like loving them is like their biggest sin for whatever reason that is. It's like somebody is very nervous. I feel like they want to communicate with you. We're going to look up the song lyrics first. And then we're going to get into it. Let's see. Like, I'm literally feeling nervous. Like, this energy is strong. And I didn't even tap into it. Like, I'm shaking. I'm literally shaking. This is a... Somebody is very nervous. Very nervous. I'm hearing feminine. So, you could be nervous. Some of you guys could be with your twin. These mixed, these mixed signals, they're killing me. I don't know what you want, but I know what I need. The goodbyes, the hellos, and the I need you, no, I don't. Every time I start to close the door, you knock and I let you in. Loving you is my greatest sin. I don't know why I love you. I don't know why I stay. I don't know if it's worth it. But look, sorry I missed your call. Some, So if somebody missed your call, they could have been working. I think about you when I'm gone, wish I could hold you. Probably home wishing someone can love you how they do. You gotta listen to that song. So let's see what messages we get. <sighs> the energy is already super heavy. Like somebody is extremely nervous. Or they could be up stressing. Um but there's some nervous energy. There's just this nervous energy. Look, I want you guys to see it because I'm forever going to stay in my Queen of Wands energy. So, and here's my little butterfly. But I'm going to always stay in my Queen of Wands energy because that's just the energy that everybody needs to be in. Okay, anyway, so this card dropped on the floor. So just a reminder that everybody is an empress as well. So let's see. Okay, hold on guys, because my lips. Let me let me pause this real quick. Okay, so I had to put some lip gloss on. Anyway, so let's see. Spare guides. Three, four shuffles. I'm hearing you could be dealing with an air sign or a water sign. So, a uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Okay, Spirit Guides, what do you have for Sagittarius today? Oh my goodness, I am so nervous right now. Sagittarius, oh my god, y'all could be dealing with it. Look, look, I, ki I kid you not, I kid you not. I don't know, this is a masculine with the moon card here. This is a masculine. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn, a Cancer, or an Aquarius. Oh my god. Guys, 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 these are some major events. We got the Hermit, the Devil, the Moon, and the Hierophant. So I feel like there's been a lot of secrets here. A lot of secrets in a relationship, in a marriage. I'm hearing karmic because with the, the devil here, this is karmic. I'm, I'm seeing that there's some type of issues or some secrets here in a relationship. And your person is starting to see who their star is. This person has been going within and has been watching you and has been realizing you are a star. I feel like this person is seeing that they're in a relationship with someone that they feel bound to. They don't like that feeling of feeling bound. This person 
does not want to feel bound. They shouldn't have to feel bound. They want to feel love. They feel like they're trapped, they're stuck, they're abused here. It's like a addiction that they don't want. And it's and so it's like I feel like your person is working not working too good. I feel like there's something is not working out here. This person may be very angry right now, but something is just not working out for your person and they may be extremely angry. Something is not working and somebody is walking away from a situation. I feel like your person could be moving on from a situation because they're finding out about some type of deception. So I feel like your person could have caught this karmic energy and now they're cutting this person off. And this was a warning. Like I've been saying for the past few days, your person has been warned to release these karmic energies. Yes, this person has released the karmic energy. Because they're not safe. These karmics are very dangerous. They're very spiteful. And your person is actually really doing the work. If they're not talking to you, it's because they're literally dealing with a life or death situation. Like seriously. These karmics are very crazy mentally. They don't Listen, they don't care about hurting your person, not whatsoever. They want to hurt your person as much as they can. And you know what will really hurt their person, to your person too? If they were to do something to you. So your person has to deal with this so that this karmic doesn't come towards you. Because this karmic is a crazy person. She doesn't fucking like you. She hates you. I just heard that fucking loud. She hates you. So your person is not going to involve you. In these type of situations, look at this shit. It's not beautiful. They're not going to involve you in that. So they're going to ghost you so they can figure out what the fuck can they do here. They can't put their focus on you right now when they're trying to leave this situation. Because it's literally a life or death situation. You know, I get it. They did a lot of shit to you. But now ain't time for none of that games. This person is literally going through shit that is fucking dangerous. That can literally harm them. It can I've talked about it a lot with my best friend about my person. It's true. We can fucking harm them. These karmic energies are crazy people. They don't care about hurting anybody. Somebody is extremely nervous. Extremely nervous. Like they're extremely nervous. Let's see. What's the hierophant? Somebody is walking away. What is the hierophant? Of a marriage, a commitment, a relationship, a situationship. Somebody is leaving. Um, this could also be the same sex relationships for some of you. Because notice how I've never seen any type of rainbow on a higher font. They approve. Also, I want you to know something. If your family don't approve of your sexuality, I want you to know that God approves of your sexuality. That's just something that I want you to know. That is something I want you to see. And I have never seen this in a hierophant. But this is about social approval. It's about the court systems and things like that. This is also about divine and the universe and God. And do you not see he's wearing rainbows because he approves of the same sex marriages. It doesn't matter if they're different. It does not matter if you're women and women, men and men. He approves. So just know that. And I approve. And I don't care what anybody thinking. You don't need to care what anybody think either. You love who you love. And it doesn't matter what anybody think of that. It's not for them to like it. It's not for them to approve. You don't be happy for them. You be happy for you and who you want to be with. What's the higher fun? But that's for some of y'all out there. Somebody is in a relationship here. But they can't move on from someone. Or simply someone feels like they can't move on from a relationship. Somebody is healing here. Somebody is healing. But I feel like this person is seeing that they're, they're finding out a lot about you. About your beauty. About your loyalty. This person knows the truth about you. But he's also finding out the truth about this person. Do you see how this goes? Your person can't move on from you. Your person can move on from you. I feel like your person, the times that he's been in isolation, he has been realizing that he's a lot bigger than this bully here. He's a lot bigger than this unhealed feminine energy. She's very unhealed, very distorted, very toxic here. But one thing your person knows is he's in a relationship and he can't move on from you. He can't move on from you. You're too loving. You're too loyal. You're too caring. He wants to commit to you. 
He wants to be with you. He wants to marry you. Spend the rest of his life with you. So while your person was going within and figuring out himself to be able to stand in his power and move away, he had to go within and find himself. Really do the research. And your person has found out a lot of secrets about this this cruel person this person is very cruel very disrespectful she cusses fight kick scream keeps your person around you know manipulates do magic just a disrespectful person says hurtful things is a very manipulative energy but your person has been watching this person and let me tell you they got caught cheating they got caught lying got caught texting someone else your person just caught this karmic energy cheating and there is no way they can heal this. This is unhealed. This is there. This is over with. Like this person could even be an Aquarius or a Cancer, but your person has found out a lot about this feminine energy, and there is no way they can heal the situation. It's not healable. There's no more hope. So this person is very much so being very toxic, trying to attach herself to this person. Um, this person, your person could have found messages in this relationship, could have found this person texting, flirting with other people, and it caused this person to see they're not in love. They are not in love. You know, you want to know why it's not going to work? Because they're not in love with this person. They feel like, why are they so bound to this person if this person simply just can't be loyal to me? Someone just found some messages and this is unhealable. They they can't fix this. They can't fix this. And I feel like your person is not showing it, but they're stuck and they know that there's no love here. Something is just simply not working out. And it's like this person is planning. He's very nervous, very confused. He has been dreaming about you. But this person is ready to start a new beginning. This person has been overthinking a lot, a lot. The thing is... Your person is not in love with that person because they're in love with you. Do you think I'm lying? Do you see that? They're not in love with that person because they're in love with you. No matter how hard your backs turn towards each other, no matter if you, you know, you've already said fuck this person. You're very pissed off with this person. And they know it. No matter what. But they always loved you. And they could never move on from you. No matter how hard they tried to. Even though they didn't get anywhere. They could never move on from you. What's the three of pinnacles in reverse? Something is not working. It's over with. Somebody is releasing something. Someone is releasing a third party. So they can go towards their true two of cups. Because like I said, they don't love this person. They don't love this person. This person, they don't have no love for this person. They have love for you. This person is in love with you. Something is simply not working out. And it's like your person is starting to see like they feel... This person isn't going to move on, though. This distorted, jealous energy is not going to move on. But let me tell you something. Your person is no longer working with that karmic energy. They've released this person, 333, because they're in love with you. They've always been in love with you. No matter how hard you try to turn your back against this person, the love can never go anywhere. Because y'all tied in a spiritual manner. So, this karmic energy is not moving on. With the moon card, she's in her feelings. Your person already knows a lot, but with this energy here, this karmic energy is not going to move on. She's not going to move on. But here's the thing. Your person is tired of fighting. He gives up. He gives up. He's tired of fighting. Nothing is working. He's no longer holding on to this person. At one time, he could have been, but he's tired. He's not holding on to this person anymore. He's tired of fighting. He's tired of arguing. He's not even going to manipulate her. He's just been planning. He's just been planning. This situation that he's in, he's releasing it. He's tired. He's releasing it. He's making a plan to approach this Queen of Wands. He's done. 
He's done. He's been holding on for too long. And he's just, it turned, he's angry. He's very fucking angry. Very angry. I feel like Knight of Wands in reverse, he's angry with himself. And it's like he's becoming very impatient and very angry and aggressive because he's trying to end things with this person. But she won't move on. She won't move on no matter how hard, no matter how hard your person tries to cut this cord this person will not move on she's very manipulative very abusive she's very disrespectful with her words she's just this is a baby mother as well she's very distorted she keeps causing towers after towers because she doesn't want your person to take action towards you she doesn't want him to take action towards you what is the moon card he's not in love with this person though He's not in love with this person. Yep, he is coming to make an offer. He's releasing a third party here. Yep. So he can come in and heal things with you. This person is secretly making his way back to you. He's releasing a relationship. He's releasing third parties. He's coming in to restore balance. He's releasing a wife, a baby mother, a girlfriend, and he's coming in to text you. Somebody is about to receive a text. You're about to receive a text. You could have two children with this person. But this person has been carrying this burden for too long, has been trying to keep hold on to the situation for too long. And it's like there's nothing more they can do because this person wants to come back and heal things with you. With the world card, this person has closed the cycle, has ended a cycle, because they've been holding on to you. Whether you believe that or not, because they don't want you to walk away. They've walked away from the situation, so they can come back to you. Believe it or not, they're going to take their time. I also feel like this person could be fighting with the karmic energy, but they know the truth. Why? Because no matter how distorted this emperor is, your person is taking back control of his life. And he's coming to pick you up. This little emperor, he's been planning. He's been planning. No longer holding back. Somebody is approaching you. They could even be moving closer to you. Somebody could even be there spying on you, talking to friends about you. But somebody found out about a karmic energy cheating and there's no way they can heal it. Somebody is coming back with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. But why is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse? Uh, okay, let's see. Why is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse? Somebody had to heal here. They had to heal. They had to rest. Because they... They were being very toxic. They had a lot of pride. A lot of ego. And so they're having to heal. What's this? Four of Swords. Yes, yeah, somebody had to reevaluate their life. And this person is coming back towards you because... Damn. Because your person is realizing he loves you. He wants a baby with you. He wants a new life with you. Damn. Yep. This is over. The family is over. It's over. It's done. It's done. It's no saving this. This person cheated. It's not healable. This is not fixable. It's not fixable. It's just not fixable. There's. It's just not fixable. This person could be rejecting this karmic energy, rejecting everything with this karmic energy. This person is very hurt. This person could have lied about a pregnancy. This is no new beginning starting for this karmic energy. Your person is approaching you, could be coming now, and they're happy. But this karmic energy is not too happy. Your person is coming towards who truly make them happy. Eight of, what's the eight of wands? You're going to be, they're watching you. You're going to be receiving some type of communication here. Look, who's going to receive the communication? Somebody is coming back to commit to you. They're coming back to marry you, to make you their baby mama. Somebody is. 
What's the three of swords? But somebody's going to be angry. Very, very angry. This queen of swords in reverse is about to be left out. Uh, this person is very abusive, very disrespectful, cusses a lot, fight a lot. It doesn't matter if you cuss a lot, but she's very disrespectful. King of Wands in reverse. So your person is very angry. He's very hurt. I feel like it's because of the betrayal he received in this relationship. Like, he knew that this person still was doing what she was doing. It was like he was trying to hold on to this person. But it's over with. They, it's just like there's no trust here. There's no trust here. This betrayal has really kept. That's why your person so fucking stressed, dude. Didn't I say that in the beginning? Somebody was nervous as hell. Nervous as hell. Shaking. Literally crying. I feel like this could either be the karmic energy because they know that they messed up. Yeah, they know they messed up big time. They're still being abusive though. They still want to lie and manipulate and still want to cheat. They still want to cheat. They still want to lie. They still want to be sneaky. They just never going to change that. They're never going to change that. And your person knows the truth, so he's holding back. This person is very defensive. It's like they're still trying to fight for this relationship. It's like this person is not going to let your person leave, but your person has already went within and released this person. He already knows he wants to commit to you. It's just not working out anymore. So he's releasing this person. He's hurt. And he wants to start a new beginning with you. Because he's in love with you. I feel like this person is wanting to gain your trust back. He wants to come in. And he wants to communicate with you. He's scared of communicating with you. He doesn't know what you're going to say. Or she doesn't know what you're going to say. But they're coming in. Let's see what's the outcome. Somebody is not about to be so happy. He's walking away. Walking away. All the passion, the desire is walking away. Mm. Look at this. They keep jumping out. Your person has spoken his truth. He has cut someone off. And he wants to come in and talk to you. Yep. He's going to text you how he loves you here. He's going to send you a message. He's going to be open. Expressing himself in this message. Yeah. He's going to tell you he loves you. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Damn. Or a Virgo. Or a Cancer. But this person has been waiting for this time. In this moment. But honey look okay if the cards freaking shuffle they went through a huge transformation and they come in to get you pregnant why because they're in love with you this shit is crazy dang guys look at this sag i told y'all i've been seeing this look your person has a lot of heavy burdens He's the emperor in reverse because he just gave up on his power. I feel like he was dealing with a narcissistic energy. And so now he feels very weak because this person made him feel weak. And he also made himself feel weak. Look at this. Come in to be fair to a twin. Libra and Gemini. And those aren't supposed to be in there. But your person is realizing they love you. Like, they really love you. They really do, and they want to make it better. They really want to make it better with you. They're recognizing you. This person is obsessed with you. Like, seriously, the obsession is real, and you may already know this. Some of them may have a karmic energy that's very jealous, that's trying to do magic on you because she's stressed out. She's stuck because she knows that he's about to come in and reconcile with you. She doesn't want that to happen. But somebody's about to get left out or get rejected. Because huh? the renewal is coming. You've been waiting for a long time. You finna walk, You finally walk away from this person and then boom. He comes back. He comes back. Okay, so Satch, that's what I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh, wait. He's also going to be coming back very defensive. You may be a little defensive as well, but 
he just experienced a lot. So just be patient, you know, just balance out your angry side and your happy side when it gets to your person. Because you could go a little sad on them, but right now, wait to do the sagging, okay? Just wait to do the sagging because your person is stuck in the five of sword, the five of pentacles right now. So when he does come back towards you, he's going to need that extra equal give and take when it comes to emotions. Emotions, because he's hurting right now. He's hurting. No, but seriously, he really is hurting. Very bad. So he just wants your, you know, support, company. He's missed you too. But he's not going to come back so energetic. He's going to come back sad. Sad. Very sad. Because he's been through a lot, literally. He's been through a lot. So, you know, he's going to be a little emotional. He literally is. He's going to be very emotional. So just expect that, okay? Just know that he's emotional because of a betrayal. He's been through a major betrayal. <sighs> and he just needs that equal give and take. You guys are both aligning. Y'all both send things for what they are. But also he just wants you to know that he just needs your faith and your hope. And he just needs your support, your healing energy. Because he feels very hurt. Based off of what he did. Based off of what he experienced. He's going to come back very sad. So you just gotta, you know, just be there for moral support. But you are about to have things going your way. You are about to be happy. You may be holding back and may be guarded now. But you are about to receive everything you want. <clears throat> okay, so I'll see you guys later. Bye.